The first thing I want you to do is open a window here in ChatGPT and a window in Zapier. Then I want you to sign into Zapier or if you don't have account, just sign up here. You will get a seven day free trial. When you have signed in or signed up, I want you to go down here on the left and click on my apps. For this, we need to add a connection to ChatGPT and Gmail. So how you do that is you just go here on search app, type in ChatGPT, right? Click on ChatGPT, connect. So you get this loading screen here. You need the API key. So I just want you to find your API key and type it in here and click yes, continue to ChatGPT. I have already connected my ChatGPT, so that's okay. Next, search for Gmail, click on connect. Again, here you can pick your account and just continue. So what you will end up with is you can go back to my apps, right? And then you can see all the apps you are connected to. So it should have one connection here. The next step I want you to do is open a new window, find the link in the description and in the pinned comment and just go to that. Here you can see we have your saved ChatGPT actions. So what I want you to do now is click on add a new action. Search for Gmail create draft. Okay. Select create draft here. Choose your email account, Gmail account. And then I will just leave have AI guess a value for this field. If you want to change this up, you could. Then just click on enable action. And when you go back here now, you can see you have this checked off, create draft. The next thing I want you to do now is go back to ChatGPT, open up a new window, select GPT-4, go down here to plugins. If you don't have activated plugins here, you can do it by going to your settings, beta features and select plugins. Okay, so when you have selected the plugins here, go here, install the Zapier plugin from the plugin store and just select it, right? Now we are ready to write our prompt, so I'm just gonna use the prompt Act as a creative writer with expertise in writing interesting short email summaries. Write a summary to chris at hotmail.com from the following information. Then I'm gonna head over to my website, check it out if you want, link in the description below. Find an article you want to write about. Just copy this text here, okay, copy, head back to ChatGPT, paste in the information and hit submit. Okay, so that was complete. Let's see what Zapier did here. So it did send a request to Zapier. So it created an instruction, create a draft mail to chris at hotmail.com with the following content. It created a subject line, it created the at email address, and it wrote the full summary as an email, right? Perfect. Okay, so we can close that. Now you can see, great, I've drafted an email for you. Please review and confirm to send it out. So the next thing we are going to do is click on this link. And when we do that, we get sent to another page that basically goes over all the actions we want to do. So you can see here we are at OpenAI in Zapier. We want to create a draft. Here are the field values. This is for you to review the mail before we send it. So we have a subject line. We have the two. Here you can read the full mail. And what you're going to do now is just click on run. Action run, you can now close this window and let ChatGPT know the action has been confirmed. So if I head over to my Gmail now, I go down here to drafts. Don't mind this, this is Norwegian. You can see, okay, so I have a draft here. Let's click on that. Okay, great. So you can see the same here. We have the address, we have this subject line. All I have to do now is replace my name here and click send. If you feel this video gave you some value, I'd really appreciate if you gave it a like or maybe left a comment. And follow me for more interesting tutorials, guides and all the things that are happening around AI. And I'll see you in the next one.